And a serious war zone disagreement is developing between Moscow and Washington. The Pentagon blames Russia for hitting civilian targets in Aleppo, while Russia's defense ministry has provided evidence that actually America was behind the strikes. Let's get more now from RT's uh, Nikki Aaron joining us live here on the program. Nikki, can you, can you clear it up for us? Where are the accusations actually coming from here? Well, let me just remind you that Aleppo is a city that's already suffering a, a dire humanitarian situation. Civilians there don't even have access to water since supplies were cut. Now, Russia's defense ministry claimed that two U.S. Air Force A-10 assault warplanes bombed Aleppo on Wednesday, destroying nine facilities. Let's just take a quick look at the uh, statement from the Russian defense minister, spokesperson. We analyzed all the targets hit on Wednesday in Aleppo. First of all, Russian planes didn't appear near Aleppo. The closest target hit was more than 20 kilometers from the city. Only so-called anti-ISIL coalition planes and drones have been flying over Aleppo. As we promised our U.S. partners, we won't hide this data. On Wednesday at exactly 13.55, two U.S. warplanes entered Syrian airspace from Turkey and fully bombed several targets in the city. Now, the very same day, the Pentagon accused Moscow of carrying out a bombing in the city. A U.S. Army Colonel Steve Warren said that Russian airstrikes had hit two hospitals. Now, this would deprive medical care to about 50,000 people, so it would only exacerbate about the already dire situation in the city. This has been quickly rebuffed by the Russian Defense Ministry. And let's not forget there is an agreement between the two sides, a kind of safe haven strategy, which means that the Russian and US forces don't bomb targets in the city at the same time. So there's a lot of finger pointing going on, a, lot of, a bit of a blame game, you could say. Now, Russia's Defense Ministry says it's investigating these nine targets hit by US planes and trying to find out whether hospital, any hospital were among them. So at the moment, we're just going to hold on and see what comes up next. All right. Artie's Nikki Aaron, thanks very much. In the meantime, as diplomats descend on Munich for Syria talks, media are reporting that Russia plans to propose a ceasefire in Syria starting March the 1st. It's potentially part of a growing frenzy over Moscow's involvement in the conflict. One New York Times article, for instance, says the rules of the game in Syria have changed with Russia possibly proving the American strategy there is flawed. The report adds that this makes the upcoming talks critical for the U.S. delegation led by Secretary Kerry. Meanwhile, mainstream media are ganging up on Russia's anti-terrorist campaign. Russian airstrikes pound the key battleground daily. This is said to be the aftermath of just one of the Russian airstrikes pounding Aleppo. Tens of thousands have fled the city already in the face of a major military offensive. The Syrian regime is on a winning streak with the help of Russian bombs. That's caused people to flee in their thousands.